everyone, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. I am excited to start a whole new year of panning. I am ready to put 2022 behind me and really start having some fun for 2023. I am ready to play with all the things and like use everything. Probably not finish a whole lot, but I'm excited to just, just touch and play with all of my collection this year. But there are some things that need to get done, literally need to get done, finished this year. So without further ado, I am bringing you the Pantastic Ladies Pan That Palette for the year 2023. The theme is Kicking It Old School. This was created by myself and Dana. She is on Instagram. She is going to be listed down below along with the spreadsheet from everyone else that um, has joined into this project. And if you would like to join in, we would love to have you pan with us once our projects are live. Whether you're part of the Facebook group or not, you're more than welcome to join in. And um, yeah, so kicking it old school, pan that palette theme. It was voted on within the group. It is a, like your oldest or an older palette in your collection. It doesn't have to be the absolute oldest, just an older palette. Um, we have done older palette themes or oldest palette themes in the past, but it seems to be pretty popular. So I picked my literal oldest palette that I own. Most of you probably already know what it is. So I will be panning the Coastal Sense 88 palette. It was the original 88 color eyeshadow palette. And as most of you know, Coastal Sense is no more, um, the whole, uh, thing that was going on for the past couple of years kind of like killed their business as did it a lot of other businesses so it makes sense that I would get this done this year I'm kind of nervous about it because I've been chipping away at this palette for years like many many years so basically what's left is the shades that I don't care for as much but I want the palette done so I am going to show you where this palette is right now uh, I'm, I'm kind of scared. I know, I know, it's crazy. It's all blues and greens, which is kind of scary. And one little black eyeshadow right down here. I apologize for the glare. Um, I will inlay a picture of it somewhere, I'm sure. There's tons of X's in the empty pans because those were finished prior to 2023. So I have 27 eyeshadows in here. Like I said, mostly greens, blues, and then that lonely little black down there in the corner. Only one of them has pan, which is this dark green eyeshadow right here. And the rest um, haven't had much usage. Some of them haven't done, I haven't done anything more than swatch. And I think some of them I might not have even swatched. And this is a really painfully old palette. I am going to be up front <laughs> because um, y'all know my love of blue eyeshadow or lack thereof. Um, I'm not going to say I'm not going to use any of this blue eyeshadow, but rest assured, a good portion is going to get frankened. I, I will use some. I will use some, but I am going to franken as well because um, I don't care who you are and how much color you love. This is a lot of blue and green, and a lot of them are very similar, like these te light teal shades and some of these green shades. They're so similar. I can't wear those two colors like every single day. I, I can't do it. I, like, God bless you if you can do it. I am not that girl. I love my color, but mm, no. So um, I am going to make sure that if I franken anything, it stays in this palette. So what I might do is, um, I don't know, if I have one that I can finish up, I will franken other things within that pan. I don't want to like mess with my X's or anything here because I want it. I want you guys to be able to see at the finale that, um, you know, what I've actually finished and what was, um, done previously. So we'll see how she goes. I'm a little nervous about this one because of all of the blues and greens, the black, um, it's going to take a little bit, but, um, I've panned blacks before, obviously. Um, did it last year. I did it the year before. I can do blacks. It's not my favorite thing to wear, but I can get it done. And it's tiny. I, I think I can get that one done. Um, some of these, these worry me. This one is kind of like a purple, but it's, it's, 
it's a blurple. It's what I call a blurple. It's a very blue purple. That one, um, hopefully I can get through that one as well. I'm, I'm, I'm excited and uh, trepidatious, I guess, to work on this palette, but it has to be done. I'm gonna quit holding that up. It's starting to hold my, hurt my hand. Um, I'm not hate panning this because I don't hate this palette, but I'm, I'm not love panning it either. It's just, it's so old. It needs to go. Um, I'm going to be happy when it's done. And I think uh, it's going to really test my frankening skills to see what I can do with this one. But um, I have every intention of finishing it this year. Most of the other eyeshadows and other projects are for usage or to hit pan. I have strategically tried to plan some shades that I think will coordinate very well with these. And um, I guess we'll have to see at the as the year goes by and at the end of the year, how well I, I planned those other shades to work with this one. Because my intention is to finish every last shade in here, whether I like it or not. And um, I'm gonna need all of the luck, all of the luck to get her done. All right, definitely go check out everyone else that has joined in. Check out Dana because she is co-creator on this one. And uh, like I said, if you wanna join in, we would love to have you on this painting journey. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.